Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'm at my friend's house, and we're going to see what he's been building lately. Uh, hey guys, it's Seiwo, and uh, I was just working on a Circus Maximus pro project. As you know, uh, Mr. potsy has been recently working on a uh, pretty big coliseum on a single-player server, and so I was doing something similar for my Latin project, so we can head over and see what it's all about. Okay, let's do that. Wow, that was that was a pretty big build. That's awesome. Uh, yep. Huh? What's this? Uh, so yeah, uh, throughout this map, I've got these uh, little posts set up, and the, they answer basically these different questions that were asked about basically the thing that I was building. In this case, the Circus Maximus. So the second question was um, where it was located, and so it was located in a in Rome, basically downtown. Uh, in a valley between the Aventine and the Palatine Hills, which are two of the seven hills of Rome. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, what's up here? We got another post. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's uh, question one. Yep, this is the first one. Yep, the Circus Ma Maximus was made for chariot racing and sometimes foot racing. So for the most part, okay. they use this for, like, racing with chariots, and then every once in a while they would have a foot race, foot race here and there. That's pretty cool. Yep. So, as you can see, they had the racetrack here. They had a few monuments in the middle. Most of them were actually gifts from different uh, emperors and, uh, like, people who had a high place in the Senate. And then over there, uh, I don't know why I said Senate. The Senate wasn't around at the time. Like, the the Republic. Okay. Republic, that's also the wrong word. But you know what I mean. And then over there is the entrance where they uh, walk into the... Uh, uh, the track? main area yep the track from the uh stables and the chariot workshop okay so as you can see this can hold in real life more than 150,000 people at a time so it's incredibly big over there on the other side you can see we've got a few youtubers in the audience um <laughs> yeah if we went over to check it out we could see uh i actually had some help from a friend of mine who is pretty good pretty gifted actually with java programming and he helped me set up uh some npcs that just make things look a little bit He's also alive. watching the show over there. He is. Yeah. He is. So what's this information then? So yeah, uh, here's some more questions. We've got question eight, uh, which is the scale. So the original monument was 635 by 113 meters long. So it was pretty dang big. Uh, to give you a pretty good idea of how big this is, this is about two and a half times the length of a football field in real life, okay. just on the inside. Yeah, that's um, massive, wow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this type of scale was convenient because in Minecraft, uh, one meter is exactly one block. So I was able to measure it out pretty easily. Um, okay. As for the materials that were used, uh, it was built largely and primarily out of stone, as you can see. Uh, there was some sandstone, brick, and marble. Um, it also had a bit of concrete, like the old kind. So in the olden days, they actually had concrete in ancient Roman times that they used to make aqueducts. But it was very, uh, very unreliable and cracked easily in the cold weather. Fortunately, they didn't have very much cold weather around here, so okay, that's nice. Let's go check out what's down here. Uh, so in here, this is we're gonna check out what's going on on the racetrack itself. You can see it's pretty worn down. Um, like I said, a lot of these monuments in the middle were donated. One of them is considered one of the uh, most important. Uh, like obelisks in the entire Roman city. Oh yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it turns out that one of the thirteen like major obelisks of Rome was uh, put here originally. Um, right now, it's actually in a di was moved to a different park. So, if you want to see it now, you would go somewhere else. But uh, back in the day, this is where they kept it. It was called the Flaminio Obelisk. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And uh, yep, there's another uh, post over here. So basically, uh, this, like, in modern day, 
this entire area has been like restored as a garden in the racetrack area. So like basically there's like a garden slash park that you can go to visit where mm -hmm. this racetrack uh, yeah. used to be. And pretty much all the stands around it are now actually where roads have been built because most of them collapsed from bad weather and stuff. Okay. So uh, let's go back to the stables to check out what's going on there. Let's do that. Alrighty, so here we've got the stables. We've got some hay and some storage over here. We've got yeah. our classic Gucci horse. Oh yes, the horse. Siggy, this is for you. Yes, the, um, the king's horse with all the great armor. Yep, uh, over here we've got uh, your boy Mr. Potsy sitting by a fire munching on a steak. Yeah. Up here we've got a, uh, like a workshop for some chariots. So here we oh, can yeah. see the smithing forge and then we've got a chariot here. So this is where people would make chariots to race and then they would be brought up here attach the horses and set up for the race okay that's pretty sweet yep so uh so i see the king's uh yeah the little house over the, there let's the, go the to that next walk. yeah let's go check that out Here we have the uh, King's Little area. The third question that we had to answer uh, was when it was built. So it was built uh, roughly 650 BC under the reign of Tarquinius Triscus. Um, number four, uh, it was also built by Tarquinius uh, actually as a means of increasing the public opinion of himself. So he's basically trying to make himself more popular for yeah. the general public. I can see I mean. how that would work because everyone loves yeah. a good race. Yeah, these actually got pretty intense. I've seen a few movies about uh, these chariot races nice got a nice view of the middle section and how big yep. everything is let's, let's head up to the top to get a good view of the entire thing okay let's do that alrighty so here we can uh, check out the entirety yeah it's uh, long so here's the yeah it's very big uh, here's the last and final uh, tidbit of information uh, I probably wouldn't really want to visit this place today because uh, it doesn't seem that interesting anymore because now it's basically just a park and it's a park that looks very similar to many of the other parks that you can go to pretty much anywhere in the world these days. Um, you know, the stands are down, no one races here anymore, and it's not even that close to many of the other monuments in Rome. So not really my first tourist attraction, if you know what I mean. Okay. And here we have our full credits written out for all of our contributors. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Minecraft video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See ya!